Okay, so today you're going to take an online quiz using your notebook, which I provided you with the answers if you were not here or did not finish. If you do not have everything written in your notebook, that is your responsibility once the quiz is over to get those answers in. I do have them posted for you so you can copy them right in. The quiz will look like this. It is multiple choice. Make sure you get your day right. Please make sure you type your name correctly because that will go on the sheet with your grade that I'm going to be sending home. Once you are done with your quiz, you're going to go into the heat transfer text pages. Very similar to what we did for the atmosphere pages. Here is the guide of what I want you to write down in your notebook. And you can start writing it into your notebook on page 26 and I will show you what that looks like. So you have this. And then if you want to open another screen, which I know a lot of kids were doing, so you have them to go back and forth, you may do so. Here are the text pages. You are more than welcome to have a printed copy if you're not comfortable reading on the computer. So we're going to scroll down to where it says getting warm. And right there, what is heat? So that is the first thing that you're asked to define. So in your notebook, you're going to write down heat. The energy that is transferred between two objects of different temperatures. Okay, and that is right here. Heat is the energy that is transferred between objects that are at different temperatures. Energy transfer between objects, so continue to read this. As you're reading, you're going to see more things that you need to include. How is energy transferred is a question. So let's go back and see if we can find that. When objects that have different temperatures come in contact, energy will be transferred between them and the unit until both objects reach the same temperature. This is what's important. How is it? The direction of energy transfer. So it goes from the object with higher temperature to the object with the lower temperature. Okay? So sometimes I know you think you put that ice cube in a cup, that the ice cube is cooling off the water. That's the wrong way to look at it. It really is the water heating up the ice cube and transferring energy that way. And then again, you will come back to your notebook. You have your guide, and you can write, finish the sentence starter that I have in here for you, okay? So you'll write energy is transferred from the object. with higher temperatures to the object with lower temperatures. Okay, and you'll continue to do this as you go through the reading. When you are done, I will have the answers up there tonight or tomorrow, depending on when everyone gets finished. <clears throat> you guys are quite capable of doing this. It is your responsibility. If for some reason you need to go on to another page, just label it 26A so we just know page 26 are all the heat transfer notes. It'll keep our table of contents consistent with the other classes. Okay?